here to um, talk to Sean Jewell, the owner and operator of React Training Systems, uh, located in Central Oregon. And um, this is a clip uh, to talk a little bit about the slogan he has for his company, React. Which, by the way, what does React stand for? That's a Reality Environment Applied Combat Tactics. And we talked about that in, in a prior video. Yeah. But um, there's a slogan that React has, and um, the slogan is effectively accurate, zero to 1,000 yards. I'd like to ask Sean, um, what, 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 what message are you conveying with that slogan? Well, the idea behind that is that we cover, we try to cover all the different aspects and elements of self-defense. And we know that, you know, with uh, citizen personal defense, it might be a home invasion or an ATM robbery or a kidnapping or, you know, some type of assault situation. It could be many different things. And these, these can occur at anywhere from literally touch contact ranges. We see a high statistical rate of, uh, of you know, robberies and, and uh, threat engagements from very close distances. And so the, the things that, that might be a ground fighting incident, it might be a standing assault incident with uh, physical techniques, it might be a few feet away, a few yards away, or even you know quite some distance away. So we, we offer classes for law abiding citizens and professionals that give them the opportunity to train within these different distances and parameters. And we have classes literally from face-to-face -face contact, standing your ground, to like I said, feet, yards, and out and beyond, uh, utilizing different types of systems with different types of ranges. So your classes um, encompass uh, the different systems that you teach that they're going to need for these different threats. That they're going to need for these different threats, exactly. It might be an active shooter at your church or the mall or somewhere else where they're some distance away or literally it might be a face-to-face -face confrontation. Okay, and will these classes uh, be available for uh, law enforcement, security, and for lay people? We do have specific classes, so there's some specific classes for security professionals that have to do with certification and remediation and annual refreshers, requalifications if they're armed officers, that sort of thing, and then specific to tools or implements that they would carry. We do have law enforcement separate classes that are specific to sworn officers only as, as the sworn officer has a different duty to act within different circumstances, so they're law enforcement specific and street type defense and uh, close quarter engagements. Uh, some of the, I work with the DPSST here in Oregon, also ILF, the International Law Enforcement Organization as an instructor. Uh, we train, you know, train officers and everything from train to trainer programs to train their instructors to train their officers to uh, special, special tactics, uh, survival in close quarters with firearms and edge weapons, impact weapons, those types of things. And then for law abiding citizens, everything, there's some things obviously they cannot participate in, but we have all the bases covered as far as any type of personal needs they'd have for uh, personal, you know, defense and and personal defense, home defense, vehicle defense, yes, yeah, okay. firearms training. Yeah. Um, improvisational defense? Yeah, improvised, anything they can get their hands on, you know, we can okay. help them with that. Okay. Now, um, do you think that, you know, um, we, we, you, you talked about lay people, you know, um, defending themselves, and of course you can help them with that. Um, do you think that uh, a, a lay person with, without any gun experience who goes to the store and buys a handgun, let's say, do you think they're ready to defend themselves? Well, yes to a certain extent. You know, our concerns, I mean, obviously I stand for a second with our rights and our right to bear arms and protect ourselves and our families. And I think it's a big responsibility taking on the use of a firearm. And one of the things we want to help citizens with is understand you know, how deep that responsibility is to prepare them for not only owning a gun and operating a gun safely, but the, the things, the ramifications of that, you know, potentially dealing with a potential violent threat, maybe multiple threats that have weapons also, uh, the act of shooting at and, you know, injuring, killing another human being, the legal ramifications, criminal and civil, the emotional, financial aspects of those things. You know, and, and really we want to help people understand that if they bring a firearm into the home and into their personal defense truck structure, that we want them to be safe with that firearm and not introduce a firearm into their personal defense and their sort of family structure and make it create a more dangerous situation for themselves and their family. But help them make sure that they're safe with that firearm and can utilize it safely in a violent encounter. Okay. And you've got instructional um, courses to Absolutely. guide and to educate those who specify, meet you know, meet those those specific criteria and you know and are, are, are dealing specifically for citizens, you know, within those circumstances. And the, the, the issues that they're going to deal with, not only in winning the competition initially, but the aftermath of that, you know, and how to do it as effectively and safely as possible. Okay. Well, thank you very much today, Sean. Thank you.